YouTube, thank you so much for joining me again. My name is Rachel Sudler and I'm the owner of Ada's Attic Vintage. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you how you can wear a maxi skirt in three different ways um, for this season because it has been amazing weather here. Again, I know I keep saying it, but it's just a shock. Even almost as a shock is England winning on penalties yesterday. Not a football fan, but woohoo, come on England! Um, so I'm going to show you three different looks for maxi skirts. So this is look number one. So I'm going to talk about the skirt first and then work my way up. So we've got an Angela Gore, a uh, very flexible vintage design Angela Gore. So if you ever see anything at a very reasonable price, I always recommend snapping it up because it would be one of those designers that will not just hold its value but also increase. That's going to be my video for next week on... Um, vintage designer pieces that you should uh, be collecting now if you are wanting to invest your money in something and gain in the long term. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that video because it will be well worth it. Um, so I really like this skirt. As soon as I found it I was like oh I, I love it and red really isn't my favourite colour but it's like a nice red and it's got a really cool sort of floral patchwork design to it. Super high waisted and I am six foot one and it is like ankle length. So I was thinking to myself yesterday, how weird is it that vintage clothing actually fits me better? Even though technically I am way taller than the average woman back in the day. And this is like a 70s skirt, so definitely the 70s are way taller now, aren't I? But I just just I think that's funny that like, vintage clothing fits me better now, even though we've got bigger and taller. So a note to anybody who works in the high street, source it out please. Uh, <laughs> um yeah, so it's got a cool patchwork, sort of gypsy hippie vibe to it. Uh, it's fully lined and it's got a um, trim detail here, if you can see. Yes, there you go. And for, for first look, so for this look, I think I'm going to go out shopping with the girls around town. So I want to be cool, I've got a long skirt on, show a bit of shoulder. So I've just um, got this oversized blue navy silk shirt. And just done it up and then just pop my shoulder out one side. And I really like wearing a shirt like this. I think it's just like a fun way. It gives you two completely different looks because this shirt actually has a collar on and you would never be able to tell that from how I've sort of styled it now. I've rolled up the sleeves. I also don't mind obviously one sleeve being high. It is going to be like that because of the way that I've sort of styled it. I'll just show you what this shirt actually looks like normally. So this is the shirt normally this is a large list shirt with a masculine look so very baggy super loose I look a bit scruffy even for me I think like this so what you do is tie it I don't want my colour out today but you know maybe tomorrow I might and I took the colour in and down and then just put it off the shoulder and there you have it so that's my look number one. Look number two is just coming now. Okay, so for my third look is more of a holiday look. So I've got like a little white uh, cropped um, sort of lingerie styled uh, blouse on here with a really cute pin to it detail actually. Nice, and a little bow. You can wear it undone or done up as well, obviously. Um, it's very high waisted, um, very cropped this top of me, especially because obviously I'm, I do have a longer body. But because it is a high waisted skirt, I think you can definitely pull it off. And then with the must have vintage straw hat from Italy, made in Puglia, nonetheless, that's where the cute little caves are. Need to go there. Um, this is a really cute, like, summer holiday outfit. It'd look really good travelling in. It'd be nice and cool, easy to move around, you're not restricted. So this is my third way you can wear a vintage maxi skirt especially such a statement skirt like this um it's definitely a good idea to sort of see how you can style it differently so you can get lots of use out of it so it's really really pretty and yeah you go, you're gonna want to wear it loads aren't you so this is look number three and then my next look is going to be like a going out out look okay so for my third and final look this is a going out out look so we've got the same beautiful red patchwork maxi skirt on and I paired it this time with a lace trimmed at the top and the bottom. I have actually just, didn't mean to flash you there, just so you can see, just tucked it in slightly because you want to show off 
um, the high waisted silhouette of the skirt and then obviously that would make um, it's a flattering point of your body because it's the narrowest so you, you want to show that off where possible. Um, I've taken inspiration for this look from like the Dolce & Gabbana shoots that you see where there's lots of like the red, the um, big earrings, paired of blacks and it's really sort of decadent and over the top and very Spanish feeling to me. So that's sort of the where I've taken my inspiration for this outfit from. I feel because it is a long skirt you can get it's nice to get your arms and show you like your neckline off. So that's why I put my hair up and I'm going to wear it with some black ankle shoes. You've probably seen these in all my photos with like a little bit of a bead of detail across there. And then of course my fave black tassely earrings. Um, and that is my third and final look. Another look you could also do, like a bit of a Brucey bonus, I suppose, is wear it with a cool vintage t shirt. Um, this, I'll show you another video I've already done about how to, sorry, swatching Olive all over, <laughs> um, how to style like um, key vintage wardrobe pieces. So I'll link that here so you can go and check that out. A t shirt like that, or any t shirt you have, and with trainers or like casual sandals will look really cool as well in the day. If you don't want to wear the Wilkshire, uh, silk shirt, Wilkshire, is that a word? Um, <laughs> or you're looking for another way to wear this uh, skirt or any maxi skirt that you do have in your wardrobe. So uh, thank you so much for joining me, I really appreciate it. I'd love to know your favourite look that I've shown you today and I'd love to see them. So if you do post any of the outfits inspired by this video, sorry she's still rolling, uh, please tag me on Instagram at Ada's Attic Vintage and I would love to see. Thank you so much, I'll see you next Tuesday. Come on, England! <laughs>